No matter what organization, type or size you are, if you provide your staff with IT hardware or software, then you are a customer of IT Asset Management. Gartner predicts that nearly $1 billion will be spent globally on IT hardware in 2023, ranging from data center systems, mobile devices, and general hardware assets for end users. Now that is an eye-watering sum of money and a huge amount of IT assets that ITEM will need to manage. Hardware has a lifespan. This is usually triggered because the hardware is too old, it can no longer run the latest software releases, it starts to break down mechanically, or unfortunately no longer meets the user's requirements. But that doesn't mean the end of that hardware assets journey though. There's still value left in it for the organization. Enter IT Asset Disposition. IT Asset Disposition, or ITAD, relates to the reusing, recycling, repairing, reselling or disposing of IT equipment in an environmentally friendly and responsible way. It ensures that harmful materials and components within the IT assets are dealt with accordingly to support green IT and environmental sustainability. ITAD also helps organizations get final optimizational benefits from an asset that has served them so well over the years. If you ITAD computer equipment, the likelihood is that you'll be able to make some money back from the ITAD process let me explain how. Firstly, let me set expectations. You're not going to receive the recommended retail price back for the equipment you ITAD, but you are likely to reclaim some costs through the resale of your redundant equipment or the recycling of components within the assets you have sent off for ITAD. Assets that are in good condition and still within working order or can be economically repaired are cleaned up, repaired and put back out into the market by your ITAD provider. You then split the sale cost of the asset with your provider. This is typically at least a 70-30 split in your favour. For assets that are not repairable but does still have some working components, then your ITAD partner will support the recycling and resale of those components. Obviously, you're not going to get a lot of money back for these, but it's still better than nothing and it's that asset giving you one more bit of optimization. And let's be honest, in today's tough climate, every little helps. Some ITAD providers are also looking at recycling the precious metals within your hardware assets. This includes metals like palladium, copper, nickel and tantalum. These metals are considered valuable in today's climate and whilst IT equipment only has a small amount of the metals included in them, they can still be recycled, resold and have some sort of value to your ITAD process. If your assets really do not have any value left in them and have been completely stripped down, then the ITAD becomes a massive benefit towards your green IT and environmental sustainability responsibilities. ITAD providers dispose of and handle all of the dangerous chemicals under various environmental and hazardous waste guidelines and certifications to ensure that there are no or little impact to the environment as possible when disposing of your assets. The remainder of the asset is also recycled and with many ITAD providers doing so, meeting zero carbon emission standards. This also helps meet your organization's corporate responsibility towards our planet and any internal green IT targets you may have. The benefits of ITAD are huge, so stop just disposing of your old and unwanted IT equipment and invest some time and resources into implementing an IT asset disposition process. Find a reputable and respected partner to work with so that your assets give you value right to the end of their life cycle. Whilst you're here, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more IT asset management related content from the Sambees YouTube channel. And with that, happy itaming.